Utrecht has a new canal. It replaces a motorway that was there for about 40 years. The water is much more in place here. This was the over 800 year old city moat of Utrecht. The water had always been used by ships, but the long history meant nothing to many people in the 1960s. To modernize their city, the waterway had to go and the motorway took its place. Up to 12 lanes for motor traffic replaced the water. But no longer. The water has returned and the situation looks remarkably similar to how things were. The northwest corner of the Utrecht city centre had always been an area bustling with activity. All kinds of traffic competed for the available space. All land traffic had to wait long for the ships to pass. Multiple bridges were built to reduce the waiting times. But traffic kept growing and changing. By the 1960s one type of traffic had become the dominant form. Motor traffic was filling every centimeter of the available space. To give it even more space, the city turned to the now less used waterway. That it had been there for over eight centuries was not important. The removal would make way for a motorway in the city center. The models were turned into a reality and in 1968 the city started to fill in the canal. First, dirt was replacing the water and then piles were drilled into the ground to support the future road. The former floor of the canal became a concrete road. Old bridges were replaced with concrete viaducts. Five years later, in 1973, the first lanes for motor traffic were opened and by the mid-1970s the motorway was completely finished. But not entirely as planned. Opposition had stopped its development and that meant the motorway ended after a little over one kilometer in a normal two-lane street. That rendered the so-called shortest motorway of the Netherlands useless from the beginning and the return to the old situation was debated almost instantly. It took until 2009 before the reversal started. The road was closed and the concrete viaducts were demolished. Then the concrete floors were taken out and so was every single one of the 1,000 drilled piles. Right away, groundwater started filling up the building site. Sand was brought in to make the site dry again. Then the builders started to build bridges, seemingly in the middle of nowhere. These bridges gave exciting hints about where the water would return. Now the outline of the new canal became clear. Brick walls were built to support the future quay and then it was time to remove the temporary dirt again. While traffic already used the new bridges, the digging started. Meanwhile, trees were brought in. They were planted in a line at one of the canal sides. A similar tree line had been there almost half a century ago. Soon the diggers hit the groundwater level again and the building site started to fill up where that was already possible. Other teams were still placing concrete elements that would form the edge between water and land. Placing them while the canal was still dry was a lot easier. But the digging was sped up and it drew a lot of attention. The people of Utrecht witnessed their city return to its former self and they loved to see every minute of it. The digging team caught up with the other teams and the final elements for the edge had to be placed from the land side because the canal had already filled up with groundwater. The builders were in a hurry because the city had promised its citizens the return of the water by the end of 2015. In the final two months of the year things went incredibly fast. That strange green color of the side 
is a sprayed on mixture of grass seeds and a gooey substance to hold the soil in place. The stuff will dissolve while the grass grows. The day the new canal was connected to the remaining old canal, the water rose instantly to its final level. It's hard to grasp that the 1970s motorway is now really gone, but the images are clear. The traditional street furniture and the detailing of the elements of the quay give the new canal a familiar look. Temporary fountains to celebrate the water's return gave it a festive look. The people of Utrecht embraced the water instantly. On the 18th of December 2015, an alderman of Utrecht let two little girls officially open the canal. Dan, dames en heren, 3, 2, 1, As if nothing happened, the water flows again. Soon, the absence of almost half a century will be insignificant in its almost 900 year history. The motorway is gone, the Utrecht city moat is back. <laughs>